Metro Transit has a new plan to make sure people pay fares when they take the light rail. They'll test it out at four stations in the Twin Cities. There are three locations in Minneapolis, the Warehouse District, Franklin Avenue, and the 46th Street South Stop. In St. Paul, the Snelling Avenue station will see enforcement. Jay Coles has more on the possible changes coming when you get on the light rail. Finding ways to make light rail safer and more efficient has been a top priority at Metro Transit over the past several years. Taking a look at different ways to make sure people pay their fair share is now in full gear. Not all fair evaders are criminals, but for the most part, all criminals are fair evaders. So Metro Transit will study these four light rail transit platforms to see what will work when it comes to making people pay. To look at what are the best practices in the industry, what are the elements that we already have, like closed circuit television on all of the stations, emergency call boxes, those things. Six months ago, five investigates traveled to St. Louis to see what they're doing there to enhance fare regulations. They're putting in familiar turnstiles, which is part of Metro Transit's study. Turnstiles, things that people see in subway systems and, and things like that. And so uh, that is an element that, you know, we're really uh, digging in and investigating to check the feasibility. It was not a scientific survey, but most light rail riders we talked to like the idea of stricter fare enforcement. It would be useful to do it. It would get people to pay. They wouldn't be losing as much money um, because they definitely do lose a lot of money. I think it's a good thing because I see many homelesses and I don't think they're paying. Metro Transit says the four transit platforms were chosen because they all have different designs. We have a need for to be able to provide access for people with maybe ADA mobility devices, provide the right egress in the event of an emergency. And so that's the kind of work that we're doing in the very short term. And the Metro Transit chief of police supports all of it, but stops short of saying it would answer all of the LRT's safety concerns as well. We need more people and not obstacles. A criminal who has an intent already made up, a barrier isn't going to necessarily stop them. And this is one of the four platforms that will be part of that uh, survey and study that's happening. It's right here on 5th Street between 1st Avenue and Hennepin Avenue. Metro Transit says the study will cost $3 million approximately. And they say it's likely that by sometime in 2024, you'll see some of those turnstiles at some of the platforms. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News.